Hi everyone, Deborah with Scratch a Lot here. Welcome to another great technique video. Today, we're going to make a super easy shaker card. So let's get started. You're going to need a few supplies, like I have here on the desk. This is a shaker card that I made beforehand. I used washi tape on regular cardstock to make the background, cut it to size, and added all those elements. I popped up the sentiment with pop dots and decorated the inside. You'll need some clear bags. These came from embellishments, stencils, stamp sets, all those bags that we throw in the trash. We're going to use them to make these shaker cards. Picked out all different sizes. You can see some small ones, some big ones. I have some top fold cards and some side fold cards and then some backgrounds that I pre-cut. They're already cut to five and a quarter by four so they'll fit a standard card size. These are just regular scrapbook paper. I didn't do anything to those but cut them to fit. And then I have some here that I've decorated. These first two are using Distress Oxides. I just love those colors. We'll have to do another video using those. This one's watercolor. A couple more with the Distress Oxides. Those colors blend together so well. This one's also using Distress Oxides, as well as this last one. I thought it was watercolor, but I'm pretty sure it's Distress Oxides as well. I love playing with those. So I selected the striped scrapbook paper, and I picked out that kind of medium-sized bag. I'm going to decide which way it fits best in the bag, and ended up sticking it in there upright. I was going to slide the paper to one side, but decided to put it in the middle, so that way you don't see that edge of the bag. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. Now I'm picking out some sequins to put inside. I just picked out four or five colors that match the colors of the paper. And if you're like me, you have a huge stash of sequins in your room, just waiting to become part of a shaker card. So dig those out and make one of these with us. It's really super easy and you're gonna love it. Now that we've got our sequins inside, I'm gonna trim off that extra plastic. It creates a little less bulk on the back of the card. I'm gonna use some score tape to seal up that baggie so our shaker elements stay inside where they belong. Just adding that behind the card stock. Now when we fold it over, you'll see that the corners are, they create a little bit of bulk also. I'm gonna trim those off. But right now, our shaker isn't quite sealed yet. We have to seal the inside as well. So we sealed down one side to the back of the scrapbook paper. And now we're going to seal down the inside. This way our baggie is completely sealed. and everything moves around. This is when I realized I forgot to use the anti-static tool. Everything's not moving quite as freely as I hoped, but they start moving around in a little bit. I'm adding some scrapbook, or score tape, sorry, score tape to the sides, peeling that off and folding over that side. I'm trimming those corners so there's a little less bulk, and now I'm doing the other side. Adding that score tape pushing that down and then trimming that corner. And the last side, I'm gonna trim that off the corners so that we have a little less bulk, fold it over, and then you can trim off that excess plastic as well. That way again, just a little less bulk on the back of the shaker element. Now we're going to add score tape all the way around, and we're going to be sure to put a couple of extra strips in the center. That gives us a little more strength in the center of the shaker element so that it's held to the card base really well. You want to make sure that you press down your score tape really well. That helps the release tape come off easily. So you see I'm just going over it with a bone folder to make sure that it's down really well. Sometimes it doesn't come off as easy as we hope. 
There we go. Just peeling all those off, cleaning up as I go. I'm going to add this to a top fold card. I'm going to have to turn it around because I can't see to get it centered. There we go. And there we have it, our first shaker card. How easy was that? Now we're going to stamp a sentiment. The sentiment I chose is from a stamp set in my stash. I don't know what it's called, but it's from Clear Stamps, and it says Hugs and Kisses. I'm using VersaFine ink because it gives a nice black, crisp image the first time, and I don't have to worry about stamping it over and over again. I'm cleaning off my stamp right away with a baby wipe, and I'm just going to set that to the side. I'm going to freehand cut this. I was really surprised I cut it pretty straight the first time. I usually can't cut straight to save my life. But I did pretty good this time. Just going to trim that off of there. Sorry I'm off camera a little bit. Had to be able to see what I was doing. I'm just going to add that a little below the center with some pop dots. You don't have to add a lot of pop dots to this. It's just a piece of cardstock, so it doesn't have much weight to it. So two of the pop dots will do just fine. One on each end. We'll peel that off, get them stuck on there, and we'll be good to go. And our first shaker card is done. Look how cute that is. And everything moves around pretty good, even though I forgot the anti-static tool. Oh well. I remember on the next one. I selected one of the larger bags. There's that anti-static tool. I'm going to use the watercolor background. Stick that in there. I put it in the center of the bag. I'm going to add seed beads to this one. But I decided to go ahead and close up those sides to make it a little tighter for those beads so that they're not all over the place. I don't want my shaker elements getting behind the cardstock. So this will prevent that from happening. I'm not taping the rest, but I am going to trim that plastic down. I cut the corners, learning from my first couple. And now it's time to add some beads, add some sequins. And as you can imagine, I just added sequins that match the colors on the cardstock that's in there. I believe that is Canson XL watercolor paper. And I used Crayola watercolors to make that background. I added seed beads and a few different colors of sequins. And now I'm sealing up that top. I've got to go back in and put a second strip to seal the shaker. And now we just made our shaker element. Go ahead and fold up that bottom part. And there we go. Another one done. Now we just have to add some score tape and get it on a card front. So here we go, a couple of strips in the center. Don't forget those. This gives it a little extra stability. Make sure you push that score tape down with your finger or bone folder or some other tool that you have handy on your desk. It just helps that release paper come off and make sure that it's adhered really well. This sentiment is from the same clear stamp, stamp set from my stash. That was hard to say. This one says happy birthday and I'm using Memento Lux ink. This ink is a purple shade and I can list the product down below. This one I didn't cut as straight the first time so I had to trim it up some. I did pretty good freehand though. I usually can't cut straight very well at all. Added that to the front and now I've got a great happy birthday card, hugs and kisses. This one kind of looks like a masculine front. So I'm gonna use that same size uh, baggie and add this card. This was using the Distress Oxides. 
and I used a stamp on there. I don't even know where that stamp is from. Again, it's another clear stamp uh, from my stash. And I'm just adding sequins that match. I sealed that all up, added score tape. We're going to add it to the front of the card. And this one, we don't even have to add a sentiment to. It's ready to go. Look at that. Four cards, three of them we made in about 30 minutes. I sped up a lot of this video, so it's a little over 11 minutes long, but we made three shaker cards in about 33 minutes. That was real time. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give us a thumbs up if you liked it, share it with your friends, and come visit us on Facebook. All of these links will be listed below. We really hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Bye now.